After last week's double episode against Manchester City, we bring you today the Champions League quarterfinals and we're finally rounded off with previous club bingo. We're playing Borussia Dortmund. What's up guys, Kerry from KJB back again with another episode of the European Tour. Off camera, I drew 3-3 with Brighton in a very tough game, but one where I realised I can't play in the summer with Spurs because the brightness is way too bright. But as stated last time, we beat Manchester United in the FA Cup. We then had to beat Manchester City in the FA Cup in a must-see game, to be honest. It was incredible. And that shows how much a red card can change your team's fortune at the end of the day. Now, fans of the series will know... That is my ex team, Borussia Dortmund. It's a very different lineup to when I was there. The only two survivors are Nets and Cobble. Pabega and Ravella have joined, both from AC Milan. But that team looks completely different to the one I left. We're going to play highlights and we're hoping to go through. I'm going to do highlights in this first one and then we'll play the second leg where there's a lot more to play for. We're going in as strong as we can. I'm not underestimating Dortmund because this is a team I want to travel with in my first and only season with. Instantly we have a penalty and Vlavic is just going to put it top left like he usually does. There you go. 1-0 Spurs already. Romero now has it. Goes for a dink over towards Vlavic. Try to dink it over Cobble but Cobble being a brilliant keeper makes the save. Counter attack. Oh no Romero doesn't even get it. Is this a Dortmund attack? And we didn't even know. No, it's not. It's fine. Romero again. Just dink it over towards Vlavic. It's cut out again. But now we've got a chance. Armando Broja is breaking against Kumbula. Oh, he can't quite get there. Just holding out in defence in this one. We've made the foul. They're still playing it though. Isaac in the box. Colwell cuts it out, well done. And that is it, game over. Not many highlights at all, but a 1-0 Spurs win going into the second leg. West Ham are our opponents in the meantime. A team we played a hell of a lot towards the start of this series. We are going to quick sim with the first team, hopefully get a result. 4-2, Ile with a hat-trick, what a man. That brings us on to the second leg, and I'm not making any changes. This team's going to play three games in a row, as it is. Chuck Wameka is back in for Elise. He's finally got over his injury. It's a very strong Dortmund team. The two strikers have changed, but we're going to jump straight in. We've got a 1-0 advantage. Let's hope that can stick. So far, when I've played against my former teams, I've done all right. I'm hoping that can continue now. When, when we were at Batiste, we played against Milan and Nice. Beating both of them, I think we got humbled by Milan in the second leg. This is the first time we're playing Dortmund, though. And I'm hoping that we can just prove that we've come so much further than the outstanding season we had with them. Knowing that team as well, and seeing that they've stuck with the formation that I used, the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow, I'm going to try and hit them wide, and then just use this width to our advantage. Because that is... The games where I struggled were where teams played really well, people use a 4-3-3, but the counter-attacking prowess of the two strikers is what really helped that Dortmund. Daniel Marlon's been brought down by Colwell already, and it's a yellow card early on. I think that's harsh, because he went in with a shoulder barge, but if the ref's deemed it, the ref is, that is very harsh. He's just gone into the side of him. Who's taking that? Daniel Marlin shot. Oh my god, that was a good free kick. Schmidt had to make the save. Thought Pabega was going to take that, but Marlin's pulled out an absolute stunner. Let's not take anything away from the saver. You can't see it on the angle. That was heading towards that top corner. Schmidt was flying. <sighs> Marlin again. He looks like the danger man. Someone I unfortunately didn't get the pleasure of using at Dortmund. He was moved on at that time, but it looks like they've signed him back since... Trickle Mecca. Get it back out towards LA. Cuts inside beautifully. Oh my god, this man is an icon. Words just don't describe how good he is on this game. It's the way just the ball roll inside. 
to finesse from just an angle like that to put it into the side netting. Cobble, who's a really good keeper on this game, didn't stand a chance. Rares here late again. Take a bow. There's not another player on this game like him. He is incredible. First proper time we ventured forward as well. Obviously, we had the one in the first couple of minutes with Vlavic. But the first time we really pushed forward, Ile just capitalises it with a bit of a spectacular shot. Schmidt's going really far out, but he'll claim it. And he's going to just roll that out to Romero. Romero all the way up towards Ile. We're going for the very quick counter. He's nicked it off of Moreno. Rares Ile. Goes for the chip. Just hits the top of the crossbar behind the goal. Unlucky. Oh, they're countering well. Jeremy Wade is through. But Levi Colwell cuts it out. Good interception by him this time. Not a bad little move this. Jed Spence in space. Vlavic didn't carry on his run. He's got space for there. Romero shoots. Cobble saves. Doniel tries to get it. Vardiol's just brilliant at centre-back. Oh, what a ball. What a goal. Carlos Soler drags one back. One all on the night. Two on an aggregate. They're not over yet. I loved my combo at Dortmund of Makoko and Alvarez. But imagine if we had Daniel Marlon at Dortmund when we were there. We'd have scored so many goals. The way he's played so far in his first half is unbelievable. The ball through is brilliant and it's a great finish by Soler. Now we just need to concentrate. We can't let this game slip away from us. We can't let them get back into this. Goretzka's in the box. Schmidt has to make a very, very good save. Didn't really want to go in for a tackle with Colwell. Gravenberch ball up to Ile is absolutely beautiful. Now Vlavic is through one on one with Cobble. Why is his touch so bad every time? Every single time he's got a poor touch. That's just not on. Don't you know what a touch that is. He's gone for the shot early. Schmidt, oh my god, he nearly dropped it again. I love Schmidt as a shot-stopping goalkeeper, but when he parries it out like that, it makes me very, very nervous. 1-1 at half-time. We've still got the advantage. 2-1 on aggregate. So I didn't do this at the start, but we'll go through some ratings as well. So, Daniel Marlon, 85. He feels a lot better than that. Wade, who's come off, looks like a youngster. Maybe he was there in the academy when I was. Rivella has absolutely shot up. Delict is still very good rated. It's, it's not a bad team in the slightest. I mean, Marquinhos is still there. That's good to see. Ibrahim Asako, again, another player who was there when we were there. It's nice to see that a few of those youngsters are there, but the, for the most part, it's a completely turned over squad. Oh, Moreno's done, Seth and Young, but Gavardio is an absolute beast at the back. What have I done? What have I done? Go on. Good save by Schmidt. I'm in panic zone right now. Oh, Schmidt, don't commit too far. Oh my god, Sessignon clears it off the line. We are riding our luck at this point. Vlavic, from the corner, just goes straight up towards the other end. Dinks it far post. It's just not a good ball. I know Vlavic has a rating, but he's just in-game. He's a clinical finisher. It's just he's touch and... His actual gameplay itself is so poor. I might look at selling in the summer. Out to Ile, the danger man. Goes for the far ball to Romero, but they read it quite well. Head it down, Vlavic in the box. Good save. And they're playing the counter-attacking football again. Cecil Young steps in. Well done. That takes the sting out of that attack. Can we force our own now? Vlavic is through. Goes on his right foot across goal. Clinical finisher, like I said, Dusan Vlavic, that's when he's good. Left foot, right foot, he can take them chances. Let's not take the ball away from Luca Romero as well, because that ball into him was fantastic through the middle of the defenders. Vlavic, clinical, still thinking about selling you. They're opening up a bit now, Dortmund. Ile just about gets that intercepted by De Ligt. I don't really know what the free kick was for. It looked like a fair tackle to me. Well... If anyone's going to score a free kick for me, it's going to be Ile. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a save. We don't get many free kicks. We also don't score many free kicks. How close do you want to be? What a save by Cobble. 
Going to make a couple of changes. Sinistera, Onana and Kumbulla are all coming on. Right, Ile just cuts it there. Goes for the ball back over to Vlavic who gets ahead of Botman. Selfishly shoots across goal but I don't care when he finishes like that. What a goal. He may well have just changed my mind on this whole striker situation with that strike alone. He holds off Botman. Fires it so well into the top corner on the other side of a goal. Should have played it across in all honesty. Cobble probably should have stuck a stronger hand out as well. But let's not take away the fact he found the top corner. That pretty much sees us through now. Great tackle by Onana. And Dortmund have absolutely crumbled here. Onana can just play it forward to Gravenberch. Gets there, goes for the roulette, gets around the goalkeeper, but he still manages to get it somehow. The way we're working it again, back to front. Genduzzi's ball over to Ile is absolutely brilliant. Ile is just going to float that towards Vlavic, who's on a hat-trick. I know we could get another goal with Ile, but Vlavic, he's on a hat-trick. Champions League, you got to let him go for it. Sessegnon, back towards Onana, he knows this team were playing again so well, he was that anchor for us, and I think that's a player that they've missed, the absolute just rock solid anchor, wins your headers in CDM, Kambula's missed his sly tackle, Goretzka's through, Goretzka gets one back, but I'm not worried, I mean since their goal, the spark's kind of gone out of this game, we know we're practically through by the time that the game works out at the times, it's just a case of keeping hold of the ball at this point we've got a free kick now play it short to Genduzi who can just go for the power shot troubled cobble that did but that's it ties over after this corner can Vlavic get a hat trick not today Kumbula's ball out Ile goes for the finesse troubles cobble again which I think says a lot about this team and how we're playing Sinistera still got a chance Onana's got a chance what I have no idea what I've just seen there. But Onana might have scored one of the goals of the series. It's, it's a ball out there. Sinistera goes for the cross in. He's touched it. Lobbed it over a defender. Got a red time shot away. And it's just bobbled over the goalkeeper and in. Absolutely baffled by that. But the control to knock it over the defender. Fair enough Onana. I didn't know you had that in your locker. What an incredible end to an incredible tie against Dortmund. Teams who were through then, Fiorentina, Spurs, Roma and Manchester City. So it's a tough, tough group of teams in there. But I see it as winnable. That will do is for today's episode. I'm going to play a couple of these Prem games off camera now. Next episode will be the Champions League semi-final. So get your comments below. Who do you think we will be playing? That will be Saturday morning. If you've noticed as well, I'm uploading from 12 o'clock, so I'm doing like a lunchtime upload for the next week or two, just to see how that goes. Because the Saturday videos tend to do quite well starting early, so if that's something, again, let me know. And I'm more than happy to try and accommodate a better upload time. For me, I just, I just wanted to see, it's an experiment, let's see how it goes. But anyway, thank you for the support recently. Comment if you have enjoyed this episode, like the video, subscribe to see more from us, and we'll see you next time.